What's up? It's Axicus checking in live. We are going to be playing some Diablo 3. I've got a Tal Rasha wizard that is full on blasting now. And I've also got a fresh level 70 Necromancer. So with that, we're going to blast some Greater Rift 90s on the Tal Rasha wizard. Then I'm going to be flipping back and forth to the Necromancer so that I can try to assemble a Bone Spear build as quickly as I can. And then finally, we might cap it off by running some Echoing Nightmares for some Augment Gems. So we got a full night planned uh, for your entertainment and enjoyment. Okay. Greater Rift 90s. What we want to do here is just blast 90s as fast as possible. And uh, we're hoping to find some primals that we can either use or salvage and to cap my blood shards. Then I'll flip over to my necro and we'll work on assembling the bone spear build as quickly as possible. I did not see that at all. But uh, both of these are completely garbage, so we're just gonna go ahead and salvage them. We're gonna go back to the Necro and try to keep assembling this Bone Spear build on a fresh level 70 Necro. Okay, there's the Stuart's Greaves. Okay, so now what I need on this Necro is the Scythe of the Cycle, which is a one-handed Scythe. Going, oh, there it is, Scythe of the Cycle. Now what I want to do is make that primal. Nice damage intelligence with maximum essence. Whoo! All right, well, this is one way to get blasting on the Necro. Now what we want to do is re-roll two-handed scythes, do ten of these, because we need a bunch of two-handed scythes in the cube. So we're looking for Relana, Shadow Hook, Nyer's Black Death, and Meltorius' Petrified Spike. Well, let's go fill up the cube here. Okay, there's Nyer's Black Death. That's one we're looking for. Maltorius's Petrified Spike. Can we hit three for three? Raylanus, Shadow Hook. No. So close. I guess let's try gloves. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The gloves I'm looking for. Ancient. Yes, please. Oh. Okay, nice. Well, there's the Bone Spear Pants. Anyways, let's go. Let's try to hit a Haunting Visions. We're looking for Haunting Visions. Oh, there it is, a Haunted Visions. Beautiful. Man, and it's Intel Crit Crit. You can't go wrong with that. Haunting Visions is really tough to roll. So now, a Crisbin's Sentence. Also, really difficult to roll. We'll basically, oh my god rolls it on the first roll ancient so let's go shoulders oh there they are i always give you gamers a new stretch that you can do while seated and today stretch of the day called the prayer position stretch this one's super easy and all you got to do is push your hands together hands and fingers together like this you want there to be tension between these hands. Push them together. You're going to feel the stretch right along those tendons all the way up through your elbows and into your shoulders. And if you want to increase the intensity of this stretch, you just lower your hands while keeping your elbows where they are. Ooh, yeah, that's feeling good. And guys, you're going to want to hold this one for 30 seconds. We're going to do a segment that we do on every stream. It's become affectionately known as hashtag dadvice. Today's dadvice 
is level up in life. Just like in our favorite video games where we level up when we gain experience and we unlock new power and skills, in life we gain experience and we unlock new levels. Just like becoming a father or even if you're not a dad, um, various milestones through adulthood. Get your first job and make your first sale, you level up. You uh, become a dog owner, level up. You use a snowblower for the first time, you level up. Cut some 2 by 4 with a table saw, you level up. Life is all about gaining experience and leveling up. Now things aren't always as smooth and easy and fun as video games. But just like how we have to grind in a game to get what we're after, life is a lot like that. So don't be afraid to treat your life like a game. Gain experience, level up, because in the long run, it's going to be highly rewarding for you. Don't, don't be shy about rewarding yourselves for all those little wins in life, guys, because there's a lot of them. Just remember, life, believe it or not, is a lot like playing a video game. And that's why you got to think about leveling up in life. We're going to do some echoing nightmares. We'll collect a few more blood shards anyways and see what else we get. Okay, just got to get in here and stand in here. It's going to be the death of me. it. Okay, a little bunch of mats there. That's exactly what I was looking for. Looks like my leafs took quite a beating tonight and uh, I didn't see in the background here our boy Austin Matthews scoring his 70th goal of the season unfortunately so that's a bummer but I mean still amazing nonetheless. It's one of like 11 or 12 people to ever score 69 in a season. That's pretty wild. Anyways, all comes down to our typical season, which is what happens in the first round of the playoffs. And now we got to play the Boston Bruins, which is, there's a bad history there. 11 shots on net critic. Yeah, I don't know, man. Why weren't we pulling the goalie there when we're down five getting him his 70th I guess it's like the NHL and they don't do stupid shit like that but that would have been cool to see he's a beast nonetheless we're lucky to have him okay so we're capped on blood shards there we we'll go back to the necro and we managed to boost our crafting materials there quite a bit so let's go back to the necro and see if we can roll a chest and a helm that's what we're looking for now all right kadala stingy bitch i'll try to upgrade those so stupid upgrading boots but i'm impatient oh there they are the bone spear boots but now we got to try to convert that item a helm or chest okay there's the helm we'll take that we still have a bit more mats. You know, maybe maybe we can just go all in on this chest. I'm so impatient. Just try for it. Start with five. <gasps> got it! Got it on the second roll. All right, boys. We got the bone spear build. Okay, belt and bracers. I think bracers are more important. So we're going bracers. We're looking for, again, Glamindor's Marrow Guards. <gasps> Got him! <laughs> nice, I love when that shit happens. Okay, now, there's still a belt, though. There's still a belt, and if we can get this belt, then that will have been the entire build in a single night. Which is wild. I didn't expect that. The belt that we're looking for is Dainty's Binding. Let's roll. We're gonna go all in on belts. Belts. Oh my god. First one. We got a whole bone spear build there, boys. It's fucking wild. <laughs> we 
rolled the whole build in a single night. I think we ought to take it for a spin. What do you guys think? All right, let's see if this, this Necro can handle a level 90. Basically a benchmark because you can do a 90 fast, then you're getting basically the maximum amount of loot from a rift. Okay. Boys, boys, boys. The Bone Spears come online. Yeah, so this is where, like, complexity and flexibility comes into play here, right? Um, I guess if you're, like, you've never seen Diablo 3 before, that might be a little complex, what I did. I used a lot of systems to gamble gear, craft gear, upgrade gear, etc. But, I mean, in the course of two hours and 39 minutes since I've been streaming, I went from nothing on this build to absolutely here demolishing a level 90 rift, the gear that I've acquired. <laughs> I don't think you can do that in a lot of the other games that we're talking about, right? Not even close. But, at the same time, that's what's kind of fun about Diablo 3 too. Oh, this is... This is powerful, boys. It's fun, too. Look at these bone spears flying everywhere. The season theme right now in Diablo 3, actually, is um, around that the, the cube that we were looking at. Instead of cubing a weapon, an armor slot, and a jewelry slot, the season theme right now is that you can basically cube anything in any slot. And so the Necromancer is the big winner of this season theme right now because you can um, basically slot in three weapons that just give like crazy multiplicative damage. So that's what I've done and you can, can kind of see what the fuss is all about. I'm going to try to run away and hope he teleports to me. He did. Nice. Okay, so now we're blasting on the Necro, so now we don't have to do any of that gambling and crafting anymore. We can just keep running 90s. Been a fun time though. The, the streaming Wednesday nights always puts me in such a great mood. It's coming on midnight where I live though, boys, so I do have to sign off and call it a night. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'm Axicus, your friendly neighborhood casual gaming dad. Maybe we catch you next week, same time, same place. Who knows what we'll be playing then? But in any event, I hope it'll be entertaining nonetheless. And uh, you all have a good night.